in this particular collection video, what I'm going to be doing is mixing it up. So this is going to be a Montclair edition. As you can see here, I've got tons of Montclair on the rail, so I can't wait to get into this video for you guys. Some of the items were sent over from Aphrodite in 1994. If you see anything you like in this video from Aphrodite, then go to the links below and you'll be able to go and purchase that. Listen, without further ado, I'm going to get straight into this video. So let's get into it. So the first jacket I want to show you is the Montclair Maya. Now this is the new season Montclair Maya for this current season, the AW collection. And as you can see, I've got it in a red color right here. But I've actually got a Montclair Maya myself, which is this one, which is in black. So I thought I'd show you those two together. So yeah, uh, Montclair Maya is the probably the most popular jacket from Montclair. It's been going on for quite a few collections now, ever since I started collecting Montclair myself, which is way back in like 20, 14 even so the Montclair Maya has been um, available since then but every, basically every single year they re release a collection to be fair it is a really nice jacket it's one of the staple pieces very very warm it has does have down insulation and it is a very warm jacket you'll see you've got the comic in there as you guys all know already and it also comes with this uh, with the hologram so you can authenticate that online got the little hood there on the back and that's down insulated as well so overall this is a pretty pretty popular jacket and they do tend to hold their value quite well to be fair so yeah that is the first jacket now another jacket i'm going to show you from my personal collection is the montclair ekrins jacket now this particular jacket is very similar to the montclair Maya, except it has a permanent hood now the montclair Maya does have a detachable hood whereas this one is permanent and also it's got this kind of ridge going around the side so it, the ridge of the hood is a little bit thicker but aside from that it literally does look like the Montclair Maya. The only thing with this one is the contrast inside is all black as well well what you find with the Montclair Maya is that the contrasts are usually a little bit different okay but yeah this one is a size 4 and this Montclair Maya here is a size 4 as well and a size 4 is basically a large size okay so yeah which one do you prefer the Montclair Maya or the Montclair Ekrans. Leave a comment in the comments box below. Let me know which one of these jackets were your favorite, okay? So the next jacket I will show you is this bad boy right here. This is the Montclair. Which one is this? So this one is actually called the Montclair Mikan. This is the Montclair Mikan. Now this one is also turns into a gilet at the same time as well. So if you take the arms off, it does turn into a gilet. It can be worn um, in two different styles. You can have it with the arms or without with the gilet not only that but this material as well don't know if it's water resistant this one is also down insulated as well it's got the permanent hood on there and overall it is quite a nice jacket this one this is part of the current season collection got two lower pockets there pockets on the inside and it's quite puffy as well now another piece i will show you is called the montclair grenoble overshirt now this is actually in a really nice corduroy material on the outside and the inside of the jacket is also down insulated as well. So how we know this one is part of the Montclair Global, Global Collection is because you've got this different uh, Montclair um, logo that you see on the arm. Now basically this collection is tuned for more of their kind of winter wear, ski wear. So yeah, it, I, I tend to find that the Grenoble collection is even a little bit more expensive than the normal Montclair connect, um, collection. But you will find the uh, Grenoble collection will be a little bit more technical, okay? So as I said, it's more in tune for skiing, it's more in tune for really warm weather, kind of like extreme sports. So you will find more water resistance, more uh, waterproof stuff, more waterproof collections within the Grenoble collection, okay? And their collection is kind of pretty unique. Um, Aphrodite have some Montclair Grenoble within their collection. Also a little bit smart as well, so it's something that's a little bit different and it's still very warm at the same time. The corduroy on it feels nice and thick on the outside. You've got two double pockets here, you've got this kind of nice quilt pattern to the front. So yeah, overall, I think this one is a really kind of nice classic piece. Something a little bit different from Montclair. The jacket that I will show you that's from my own personal collection is this Montclair. I forgot the name of this one now. Brawl. This is called the Montclair Brawl. Now why I love this one is it because it's a little bit more like a biker jacket style. So you've got this kind of uh, quilted pattern here, but you've got this kind of biker style quilted pattern, quilted pattern on the arm. And also you've got this high rise collar here with the Montclair logo etched in between with this nice kind of rigid cotton fabric that's just running around on the top of the front of the collar there. So that's really nice. Now this jacket's got a nice padding on the arm. So it has a bit of a contrast to it. And there's also a little 
little hood on the back so you can take that off. It's a thin hood as well, so you can take that off so it's, it's, if it's raining, that can help you to protect you from the elements, okay? So yeah, overall, another nice jacket from Montclair. This one is a size four, which is a size large. Moving on to a gilet piece here, got something a little bit bright and a little bit different. Now, what I do did like to see about this one is it's actually water resistant. And even if you look at the zip and in here, you can see that it's also got water resistant zippers. It's got water resistant um, zip protection on the front. So that's a really nice touch. The outer construction material looks like it has what is a rip stop material, which shows that it's quite a durable material. But not only that, it um, should be quite highly water resistant as well. So again, something a little bit different for people that are just looking for something that's not going to be too hot just to protect the midsection, then this Montclair Gillier could be one to look out for. Also on the back there, you can see on the hood, you've got a little Montclair sign there as well. Okay, so size three is a medium, but I'm feeling this is quite big and almost fitting like a size four, to be honest. But yeah, again, another different one from Montclair here. And as you can see, you've even got the core cool Montclair badge surrounded by a little kind of blue cotton surround on the outside. Piece we got in, I've had this jacket in a blue and I've had it in a black. This is the Montclair Duvoir, Duvoir, Duvoir. I can never get this name right. It's the Montclair Duvo, Devo. Okay, something like that, something like that. But yeah, so this one is a bit different. It's a nice, bright yellow color. So definitely those for those guys that want to have a nice standout jacket then you've got the yellow here with the contrasting red oversized Montclair logo on the arm inside you've got this nice kind of cream color and then you've got these ski straps on the back so when it gets a bit too hot you can just kind of throw the jacket off and it's just hanging off you that's usually for when it's like kind of um, when temperatures are kind of shifting in between warm and kind of cold um, then yeah, you can just kind of throw it off if it's getting a bit too hot. So very, this jacket is very, very puffy. It's quite lightweight. And I think it's just a little, I think it's quite nice. No hood to this one and there's no concealable hood, but this jacket is very, very warm. Probably one of the warmest out of all the jackets here. And um, I don't see too many people with the Montclair DeVoe. So yeah, that, that's quite a nice one. Um, this is available in different colors as well. So I know there was a black and there's a blue and there's a few different colors. But again, good to see Aphrodite have that one in stock. Now, if you're not looking for the jacket, and you're looking for something a little bit more like a knit, a knit hoodie with um, some down insulation, then you could go for the cardigan. So the outer construction of this is uh, wool. So yeah, really warm piece this one. Got the Montclair logo on the arm. Got the hoodie there as well. And you got the two pull cords if you want to taper in the hood. So this is something there where if you don't want to have a jacket where it's going to be a little bit too hot, but you still want something that's going to keep your body warm, then this one could be a good shout. Lightweight piece piece from Montclair and you even got the little arm there as well for the M that you can see on the side for Montclair okay so this one is a size large guys and remember if you're interested if you like any of the stuff that you see from Aphrodite then I'll link them all in the description box below okay but yeah this one is quite nice the Montclair cardigan now another classic camo uh, jacket which is part of my collection is the Montclair Gideon Galleon Montclair Galleon I believe this is called this is an old school Montclair piece um, yeah, really nice kind of camo parka with the oversized hood there as well. It's lightweight, but it does have down insulation on the inside and you've got this quilted pattern going all throughout the jacket. Really, really nice. You've got some tapering on the sides there so you can bring in the you can bring in the cords and taper it at the waist so you've got this nice tapering on the midsection and obviously you've got the comic on the inside and it of course it comes with the Montclair authentication code as with as do all of these Montclair jackets they all come with the authentication code inside so moving on to the last piece is this Montclair shoes the Montclair collaboration with Gore-Tex absolutely insane trainer this one um, really, really nice. I haven't yet seen it in this white color, to be fair. It's the first time I've seen it in this white color, but it is super nice. And actually, when I first saw this, I thought, do you know what, it's a little bit different. So yeah, I quite like in these. Look at the soles on those, so it's quite a serious um, trainer. Really tough, rigid sole, obviously made from the Gore-Tex materials, so that's gonna be highly water resistant. So this is good, gonna be good for trekking and things like that. So it's, although it's a designer shoe, it's quite a serious shoe as well. Now, whether you actually wanna go and use this for tracking is another story I'm not sure that you would do because in this color they get dirty really nice they'll get dirty really quickly 
but I think they look really, really nice. You've got the 3M reflective strips going all the way around there, and you've even got this pull cord if you want to kind of tighten things up. And you've got this front toe, oversized front toe, um, rubber toe protection that you see going all the way around. So lots of nice detail within this shoe. Again, all from Aphrodite 1994. So if you see any of these that you like, you can go and check them on their website, okay? And if you see anything in this video that you thought was quite nice, hit the links on the description box below and you'll be able to find it on there. So it's definitely worth checking out as there's lots of really cool brands on there, okay? Lots more coming. Peace out.